today I'm here with a new video and today I am here, I think it's a tag video I don't know, uh, Annette was the one that came up with this idea and it and it is if I could only keep 10 palettes so I have wanted to do this for such a long time and I have tried so many times but it is so hard it is really so so hard but I have chosen 10 palettes now and I have been like if I didn't have a YouTube channel and I only like doing my makeup sometimes I want to be able to do everything so I have picking out 10 palettes that I think I'm going to be able to do whatever I want this is not my favorite palettes I though love almost all of them and uh, so yeah I think we just hop into this and I'm not sure maybe I will change my mind when I have recorded this video I have no idea but yeah I think we just get started so I can start with the neutral palette I was like I am going to want to have at least one neutral palette like whole neutral palette and of course I would pick the soft glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills for that this is my favorite neutral palette it looks like this and this is really like my color story when it comes to neutral and I just think it's so good and the formal on this is amazing and it has some darker shades like down here and some lighter shades and some amazing shimmers so I think this is like the only palette if I want to keep a neutral palette it would be this one because I love it I don't know how to do this next we can take one that I was if I want to do something neutral but also with a little bit of color um, so I would pick the flare palette by Ace Bouté it looks like this and I feel like somehow this is the neutral palette for a makeup lover that love colors does it make any sense? I really hope you know what I mean. I have some green and blues on this one. I also have my favorite era like right here. That's what I also have on my eyes today. And I have some purple and I can do a matte neutral look with this one and a really colorful look as well. So this I would also keep. If we should continue with the orange train as you know I love orange. So. I was checking through my palettes and I'm like I don't have that many palettes that are really like only orange except for Orange Glad. I do not love this palette like super super much but it has some really good orange it has some really like bright orange this is also kind of bright actually and this is an amazing shimmer and just to like if I want to do a look and bring in some orange I think this is a good palette so I would keep this one as well Could I maybe go into the blue and green I would also want to be able to do some blue and green looks so one of the palettes is Oceanic by Ace Bouté I love this palette so so much this is mostly it is green and blue I think it's mostly green but maybe it's like equal parts of blue and green the one thing I love about this is that the blues are really really great some blues can be pretty tricky but these are really really great and it has some light blues it has some really dark blues it has some amazing shimmer and it also has some grungy colors and I love grungy colors so much so this I would keep as my like main blue and green palette another blue uh, another green palette with a little hint of green that I also would like to keep is the tribe by US place and one thing I love it looks like this if you didn't know and one thing I love about this is it has like <laughs> some of my absolute favorite colors this one is amazing and this is amazing and this is amazing and this is amazing and this is a really good palette and it has some amazing greens but it also has some amazing orange so 
others I would definitely keep and with this one I think I'm set for like blue and green so I was also like okay I want to do some crazy colors maybe sometimes and I would definitely keep creepy cute this is like a pastel dream it looks like this if you didn't know this is some amazing pastel shades it's like the only pastel shade you need in your life and also this black one is really really black so I would have some awesome fun pastel colors and also have an amazing black if I would keep this one so this would definitely stay and also for like maybe I want something really popping like neon shades I would keep the VR neon from Kaleidos I love this palette so much. I love the two shimmers in this one. It's amazing and also like the orange and the red in this. Amazing colors. So I would definitely keep this VR Neon. So I can have a really strong pop of color if I would wanted it. Maybe it's not a standalone palette. But it is. But... Like, to add some pop of colors, I would absolutely keep this VR Neon. Okay, now we have only three palettes left, and uh, which one should we take? Okay, I would also keep the Cyber Bronze from Kaleidos. And this is not my favorite palette from Kaleidos, it looks like this. But, the red one in this is amazing. I, like, only want to keep this because of the red. It is a stunning shade and also this silver. It is an amazing silver and when I was looking through my palettes I like I don't have any silvers with me this far so I would also keep the cyber bronze. And the last two palettes. <laughs> I'm going to save the one that I think maybe will shock you the most to last. I would also keep a really new palette me and that is the Arcana palette from Shroud. If you haven't seen my first impression, I like fall in love with this palette in my first impression. This is a grungy, super awesome palette and the shimmers in this palette is amazing. If I ever wanted to do like a shimmery, grungy look, this is the way to go. It really, it is so, so nice and I have only used it once and I know that I want to keep it because it is amazing. Like this gold one is one of the best golds I've ever tried and this green one, absolutely amazing. So I would really, really want to have this with me, with my 10 palettes. Again, this is going so much faster than I expected. The last palette that I would keep. <laughs> and I was not sure if I would want to have this, but when I opened all the palettes that I picked out, I was like, okay, I'm maybe going to miss some shimmers, and uh, I took one of the palettes that has, like, the most shimmers, I think. It's like all the palettes I have. And it's actually the Magic Palette by Youth Place. If you have seen... <laughs> A collab I did with Annette and Debbie. Uh, you may think that I hate this palette. <laughs> right then and there I did. But this is mostly shimmers. It's it's 10 shimmers. It's 10 shimmers in this out of 16. So I think with this one, this was like my last choice. Like, if I would keep this one, I would never miss a shimmer. With all, like, the palettes I've already picked. And with this one, I should have all the shimmer shades that I would ever need. And UVS Place shimmers, they are really amazing. I love them. They do some of the best shimmers on the market. So, yeah, I will keep this just to be, like, sure that I have all the shimmers I need. Even though I maybe don't love this palette that much. But the shimmers are amazing and it feels like with this I would be like set on shimmers. 
And that was actually, well, this was so much harder than I thought and I have been thinking about doing this palette for like over a month and it's been so so hard. If you have, I have like, I don't even want to know how many palettes I have, close to a hundred I think, it's so hard to take out these few. And I pray that this will never happen, that I end up like you can only have 10. I wouldn't want that, but I think this would be the ones that I picked because I think with these 10 palettes I have everything I need. I have something neutral, I have something orange, I have something blue, I have something green, I have something grungy. And I think I would be set like this. I pray for this never to happen. So yeah, that was all for this video. Which palette would you keep if you can only keep a 10? And do you think that I made some bad choices? I'm like not sure if this was like the best choices I could do, but it is hard. And I thought like if I ever going to have this video up, I just have to decide on something. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to check out Annette that created or came up with this idea. I don't even know if she called this a tag. I'm not sure. And I will also leave some of my other friends that has done this tag, this video, this idea. But yeah, I really hope you liked this and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!